Alright, hey, these are, this is Max 95, and these are all my games in order of how I, these are all my 15 games in order of how they like them. First one, I mean, number 15, Army of Two. There's the manual thing, there's the disc. Now, the reason that this is the very bo bottom of my list is because it's an okay game. Great if you have two controllers or a buddy on live to play with. It's actually, eh, it's not that great of a game. Number 14, Sean White Snowboarding. Now, my brother, and it's the Target Limited Edition, because it has, like, the slide and stuff. Now, my brother will tell you this is the best game he's ever played, and Target Limited Edition just has some exclusive content and a course that Target created. It's not all that great of a game in my deal. You got the back of the box says total for you. It's almost like a snowboarding open world game. It's got the manual thing, the disc, it says target limited edition on the disc. Yeah, that's why I picked that at number fourteen. Number thirteen, we have Soul Calibur four. It's a really good fighting game. I like Brawl better, but still awesome. Uh, Brawl would be the first fighting game, this would be the second. There's the manual thing, there's the disc. Next game, number 13. Number 12, okay, this, I couldn't beat this game on any difficulty. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Call me a bitch, call me whatever you want. There you have it, Fallout 3. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. It's a stupid RPG, it's better than Oblivion, so stupid. Here's the disc, but it's, it, it made it into my top 15. It's a really good game, I just, I don't beat it, but I still play it for fun and stuff, yeah. Number, um... 11. Again, call me stupid, call me a whack nut, call me whatever you want. Halo 3. Way too overhyped. No, I'm the on the And we have that thing. <laughs> anyway, I've only beat it on the uh, regular, on the uh, normal difficulty. I mean, not normal, um, fine. Easy difficulty. I beat it on the difficulty, hard but yeah. It's a pretty nice game, so it's like Xbox Live on it, it's awesome, so, yeah. Number 10. Now, this is just since lots of games this year beat it, but still, it's an awesome game. And Xbox would not be complete without it. Gears of War 1. It just says winner 360 games. Reason this is number 10, and there's no manual thing, just the disc. Reason this is number 10, because there were a lot of games this year, 2008, 2007, that just kind of outbeat it, stuff like that. Yeah. Number nine, we have Madden NFL 09, the best sports game of all time. Awesome. You have the manual thing and you have the disc. A really nice sports game. Number nine. Number eight, we have Fable 2. Way better RPG than Fallout 3. So much more you can do. It's like a medieval time game, almost like a really... It's a lot better than Oblivion 2. It's good. It's number 8. Yeah. My, it's laying in my top 10 because I got it for Christmas. I really liked it. Number 7, the orange box. Now, this has no manual thing, but it has a disc. And this comes with five great games. It comes with Half-Life 2. It comes with Half-Life 2 Episode 1, Half-Life 2 Episode 2, Portal, and Team Fortress 2. All of these games are really fun and addictive. I got this one for Christmas. You'll love it. Number 7. And it also goes really good if you're playing, like, rock music on your CD player in the same room. It goes really good with rock. Number six, Dead Space. This game freaked me out. It made me so jumpy at parts. Really hard game, too, you know. Sometimes even annoying. That's like the movie thing, Downfall or whatever. There's the disc. Yeah, really creepy. I picked it up at GameStop with some gift cards I got the day after Christmas. I mean, some money I got there for Christmas. Um, number five, Grand Theft Auto 4. This is an okay game. It's um, it's got a lot of action. It's the best RPG kind of like thing of all time. It's got a really good game. It's the best of the Grand Theft Auto franchise. And my brother's playing the game, so the disc is in the Xbox. But Here's the handbook, the Liberty City Guidebook. Here's the map of all of Liberty City. Hold on, let me just put this little thing back in. Put the case. Number four, Years of War 2. Awesome game. Sequel to the sequel to what in 2006 and 2007 was the best game of all time. 
Here's the manual. Here's the disc. Awesome game. That's why it landed itself at number four. Also, really good with soft rock music. <laughs> kind of stupid. Um, number three, Bioshock. Awesome, awesome game. So it's almost like an open world game. It can be used as an RPG, believe it or not. It can be an RPG if you want to make it that way. Here's the manual, here's the disc. Um, and this goes good with that Linkin Park song in the end that I just found out. I was playing that on my app, but it goes really well. Number two, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Game of the Year Edition. Here's the manual, and here's the thing. It says Game of the Year Edition up on top. Comes with four free map packs. I got ripped off them. Awesome game. Why it lands itself at number two is because it's an awesome game. The multiplayer is worldwide famous. It's just an awesome game, and it's really good with hard metal rock. I don't know why. Thanks. Assassin's Creed. Number one is Assassin's Creed. It's an awesome game. Here's the disc. It's an awesome game. It goes really good with, um... Kind of like slightish rock music, soft music. It's really good. It's just an awesome game. And those, that's how I rate my games. This is Max Late 95, and everyone, good night.